So today, this filthy Mitch McConnell and, and the rest of the Nazi swine in the Senate made it clear that they are going to block a bill that would continue to fund the government, the so-called debt ceiling, raising the debt ceiling. God, I get so sick of hearing that term, don't you? Um, And they don't give a shit that they're going to cause a default in U.S. debts. They're going to stop billions of dollars in hurricane relief. They're going to cut off the money that's necessary for the federal uh, 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 firefighters who are trying to save the far west. These filthy Republicans are going to stop everything. And this time, I think they're going to do it. I really do. Because this is their campaign to destroy President Biden's economic agenda. Now, the uh, opposition from these Christians is going to deal, it's expected, and and I don't see how this would not happen, uh, it's expected to deal a death blow to everything Biden's trying to do, especially that $3.5 trillion um, um, infrastructure, human infrastructure bill, which passed the House last week on a strict party-line vote. But the opposition by the Christian fascists means this is going to add to the pressure on Democrats to come up with their own path forward to handle these urgent fiscal deadlines that, that, that are right on top of us. Do you understand what the Christian fascists are doing? I, I, I know there's been a lot of talk over the years about, oh, we're not going to raise the debt ceiling. Uh, Now, the Democrats went along on a bipartisan effort when uh, the filthy orange pig was faced with this. And the Democrats went along, even though they knew that some of the money by raising the debt limit would go to build a wall, which was never built, uh, along our southern border. But when the entire economy is poised to collapse, when, when the obligations that the United States owes, financial obligations, are on the verge of not being honored and paid then a decent human being would respond and make sure those obligations are met. But there is not a decent Republican in the House or the Senate. No, not one. Not one. Not the sainted Susan Collins. Not Murkowski. Not the Mormon. There is not one decent Republican in the House or the Senate. Not one. What about Liz Cheney? Um, I would imagine Liz Cheney is going to vote against raising the debt limit. Let's not be fooled by Liz Cheney. Liz Cheney is making very good points, necessary points about saving our country. But she's not a liberal. She's not a, a she's not a moderate. Liz Cheney is a definable hardcore Republican like her old man. She just doesn't want any part of this Trump filth. But there is not an honorable Republican in the House or the Senate. You might say that Liz is a cafeteria honorable Republican. She picks and chooses those things that she wants to back. That happen to be in line with what the Democrats, the only governing party that we have in this country, are trying to do. So a failure to to raise the debt ceiling is going to cause severe financial calamity. That's according to the Biden White House. And it has the possibility of plunging the United States into yet another recession. Oh, God. See, I have to stop. And take a couple of deep breaths <laughs> because just just talking about this stuff, uh, it, it, it's just enraging. I mean, isn't it to you? Knowing, I, I, I know a lot of us say, oh, screw that. They'll work something out. It doesn't really affect me. Uh, yes, it, those days are gone when the uh, attitude of, well, they'll work something out. doesn't really affect me. Might have applied. That doesn't apply anymore. The Christian Fascist Party 
has taken over the Republican Party. They are poised to take over the government. In 2022, with the redistricting and the gerrymandering and, and, and the screwing around with the numbers, not to mention the stolen elections, these Nazi son of a bitches are ready to take over. We are going to lose our republic. We are going to. Well, and, and who was it? Uh, Dick Durbin, the uh, Senate, uh, my, um, what is he in the Senate? I know Schumer is the uh, majority leader. I guess Durbin is, is second in command, but Durbin says it's time for President Biden to step up and um, put some pressure on a couple of Republicans in the Senate and, and, and to get them to vote in favor of the uh, of extending, um, raising the debt ceiling. But to me, what 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 Durbin is saying is, is, is childish. I mean, Durbin is there. He's in the middle of this. He knows the stench of this dying Republican Party. It, it, it permeates every nook and cranny in the House and the Senate. While the Christian fascists are prancing around, letting it be known what they're going to do. Mitch McConnell has staked his party. He, he still thinks he's the head of the Republican Party. He staked his party's position, and that is Republicans are not going to vote for any measure that raises or suspends the debt ceiling, even if they don't want to shut down the government in the process, but they don't give a shit. Because the Christian fascists know that raising the borrowing limit, the debt limit, which allows the countries to pay the bills we've already incurred, but raising it would enable Biden and the only governing party in the United States to go after these trillions of dollars in additional spending and, and, and other policy changes that the Christian fascists do not want and will not allow to happen. It doesn't make any difference if 60% of the American people are in favor of what Biden is trying to do. That does not matter. The Christian fascists are not there to govern. The Christian fascists are there to do what they have done for millennia. Destroy shit. Cause death and destruction. Because your reward, truth seeker, is after you die, when you go to heaven and smile on the face of Jesus, if you have lived a good Christian fascist life. Which means only, only to listen to, to those negative, murderous voices within that cult that give you advice after advice designed to make your life miserable, to make you look forward to death. It is a death cult. <sighs> Mitch McConnell said last week, I think I mentioned this when he said it, this scum bastard, but he said, quote, if they want to tax, borrow, and spend historic sums of money without our input, they'll have to raise the debt limit without our help. That is the reality. I've been saying this very clearly since July. Uh, McConnell, you never say anything clearly, much less very clearly, you mumbly bastard, you. Now, the Democrats, of course, rebuke that reasoning. They point to the fact that the... Uh, the debts are our old debts. I mean, this is not new stuff. This is stuff that money that we've already spent. And some of the bills, including about nine hundred billion dollars, that was a coronavirus stimulus package adopted in December. And that was racked up on a bipartisan basis. So now the, the, the Christian fascists are, are simply saying, no, fuck it. We're not, we're not going to pay for anything. We don't have to. We are Christian fascists. Jesus will, will, will uh, tell us what to do. And Jesus has told us not to do this. Well, Jesus is little brother. My God. 
And of course, Democrats keep bringing up that they uh, they went along with Republicans under the orange vomit to raise the debt ceiling. But that doesn't mean anything to Christian fascists. They don't they don't they don't, they don't compromise. They don't say, OK, um, you give me this, I'll give you that. They, they don't they don't make deals. They don't have to because God is on their side. They have the baby Jesus on their side. You don't seem to understand if you, if you have any doubt about that shit. They don't care. This is a death party cult. Oh, God. So the arguments being put out there by the Democrats is falling on deaf ears. The Christian fascists don't give a shit. And as the, uh, the uh, Times reports, New York Times reports, um, this, this outcome that is so obvious it's going to happen now forces the Democrats to rethink their strategy on this timeline that they've set up. Now, what does that mean when, when they rethink the strategy? What has it meant in, in political history in this country? It means that the Democrats back down. It means that the Democrats uh, follow the lead of Joe Manchin or uh, Kirsten Sinema and go, oh, well, OK, we don't need all this shit. You know, nah, 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 let's let's take out this. Let's take out that. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let the infrastructure fall to pieces. We don't need an extra uh, two years of uh, higher education for people free. We don't need preschool. We don't need any of this shit. We don't need to strengthen Medicare. We don't need to uh, get uh, allow social, uh, Medicare to negotiate prescription drug prices with big pharma. We don't need any of that. We're Christian fascists. Oh, my God. So the deadline, truth seekers, is Thursday at midnight. Thursday at midnight. That's September 30th, right? To come up with a plan to fund the government. Or if, if nothing is, is, is presented, then key federal operations will either suspend or scale back Friday morning. How's that to start your weekend? It's coming right at us because of the Christian fascists. And then the Congress has to act before mid-October to raise the debt ceiling. Oh, good Lord, I'm so tired of this. Hi, True Seekers, Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.